Hello everyone, how are you today? It's K. So uh, this is the 8th of April 2022 on Friday. So happy Friday everyone. I hope you're having a great day today. So um, this is a video session. It's not a live stream uh, because I have to step outside tonight. So uh, instead of doing live, I will just uh, decided to take this video and talk about one topic, which is FOMO. FOMO is fear of missing out. So, uh, and I have been experiencing this FOMO a lot in my previous trading career. And uh, recently, uh, this has been a big topic in my live stream or uh, even comments. I get the questions uh, like how to deal with the FOMO. How can I uh, avoid the fear of missing out? Fear of uh, missing opportunities. So, uh, yeah, that's why today I decided to talk about this topic. So hopefully you enjoy the video until the end. So quickly, um, before I start and jump into topic, as a quick disclaimer, as usual, uh, this uh, whole content video is basically uh, based on my own experience, knowledge. So when you take trades, please do at your own risk. And also, uh, if you can please follow the guidelines rules on the chat or on this uh, comment box below, that would be great. Because after all, we are all here to learn. And also quickly, um, recently there are so many scammers out there. So I only do Twitter as SNS and YouTube and I have my own um, web page. But uh, I have no Telegram, no Instagram, no Facebook, no TikTok. And I never send direct messages to anyone. So in case you receive any messages, these are all fake. So just be careful. So um, yeah, coming back to the topic in FOMO, uh, it has been a big topic. Well, actually, ever since I started this YouTube uh, about two years ago, uh, this topic has been actually around. Uh, and even in the Ichimoku community or GTS members, you know, this uh, how to deal with the homo, FOMO, or like, uh, let's say, um, when you face like um, losses, consecutive losses. And let's say after you take a trade, you lose, and then you exit and you decide to leave because you lost it. So you leave, chart maybe one hour, came back, and then the market is taking off towards the direction. And whenever you, you see this, every time you see this situation, you might wonder, why did I miss this big trend? If I monitored one hour more, then I was able to capture the big wave. So, but every time I see charts, looks like market's quiet. But whenever I'm away from the charts, it's trending, it's active. So why this thing happen? I think that will be the big question. And I was also having that question before, when I was still struggling how to um, see charts objectively and rationally. So that's why I wanted to talk about this topic today, specifically about FOMO and how I see about the FOMO right now. So um, first, let me just talk about the conclusion of what, how I see, how I regard in FOMO. So for myself, there is no FOMO. Essentially, there is no FOMO because it's something that's created in your psychology, in yourself. Because um, the reason is because uh, you are not the one who's making the market move. If you are the one who, if if you are the one who, uh, who can control the market directions up and down, exactly what time the market goes up and down. If you are the one who controls it, then yes, um, the formal is well, actually there uh, psychologically. But uh, because you are not the one who's controlling the market. Um, so there is no FOMO, essentially. But um, to break it down further in this concept, I always tell, like, uh, it's like looking for the taxi. So whenever you're looking for a taxi, then it's not there. But um, whenever you are not looking for taxis, they are always on the roads. So... You know, nowadays you can actually, you know, call taxis by mobile, like Uber or other services. But uh, yeah, 
like uh, in case if, if there's no apps like that, if you try to capture a taxi on the street, then I think you may face you may have faced that kind of a situation. Like uh, whenever you rush into the destination, an appointment, taxi is not there. Or even if you call app mobile and taxi, usually it comes in one minute. But um, when you rush to the destination on appointment, then taxi is not around and it takes maybe five minutes to come. So this is also psychology uh, because, because you are rushed into the destination, you have exactly what time to be there. So in that case, that creates emotional um, frustration and that frustration actually um, you know makes you think that there is no taxi or taxis are you know um, are late than usual but if you're but imagine if you're not rushing let's say okay so today let's say I want to go to the beach so okay let's call taxi just open the app and call taxi in five minutes and you might say oh well it's okay five minutes I will just uh, you know uh, drink some water maybe get dressed five minutes and go so it's you know you don't feel anything but uh, if you have to be at the beach in about 10 minutes and if you are five minutes away from the from your apartment to the to the ocean to the beach and then five minutes may feel long you want the taxi to come in one minute and in that case you have frustration in psychology and that's why you experience you experience the taxi is not there taxis you know doesn't come one minute and you have the frustration so the other example might be um, when you are looking for the Starbucks it's not there but when you are not looking for it it's always there like uh, maybe cafe also like uh, let's say you are on the street and looking for some cafe whether it's Starbucks or any other type of cafes you're looking for just to sit down and have a cup of coffee or tea if you're alone and if you have no schedule no appointment then you just walk around whenever you find it you just get it and just go in and enjoy the coffee because you are not really um, restricted in time and appointments but let's say you are with someone and you really want to talk with someone in some cafe and then you start to look for some cafes and maybe you won't finding anything any cafes around or even if you find these cafes you might found you might find that these are all full you can't find any space no seats available let's say um, so in that case you feel frustration against psychology and you might talk to your colleague or you might talk to your friend you know every time I look for the cafe it's all full you might say that but if you think about it that's also psychology um, and actually there are so many examples about this topic but uh, what I really wanted to tell today is that the uh, you know it's actually you that's simply creating formal in yourself and it's not the market that's creating formal it's actually coming from yourself so how to deal with formal is really have to deal with your emotion is that answer so but how to deal with it is uh, in my opinion well this is also my experience is that in my opinion uh, if you only try to deal with the formal in trading it's difficult um, so my recommendation is you have to practice uh, in the day-to-day -day life you have to practice in your day life day-to-day -day life how to deal with the formal how to deal with this fear of missing out so um, let's say for example um, this is about the decision making process uh, sometimes what I do is uh, just to train myself relax 
let's say I go to restaurant and um, let's say I really want to order something at a specific restaurant. So I go there with my friend, with my family appointments. I go there and when I sit down and when I'm about to order, I don't. Intentionally, I stop myself to order. So I see menu and I close the menu first and then look around and see what everybody else is ordering or eating, drinking, and then see menu again. So it takes maybe only two minutes, three minutes, but uh, it helped me really a lot to really think what I want to order at that time without emotion. If I jump in to order something, then uh, that will be based on emotion. But uh, if I stop myself just for a few minutes, maybe two or three minutes, then uh, that actually creates me room between myself and the order. And uh, I can neutralize my emotion and I can, I know exactly what I want to order objectively. So this is one way you can practice in your day to day life. And you can practice also in your trading. So that's one of the ways how to deal with the formal or how to be how to train your patients in the market. And also uh, the other training uh, I used to do was also um, when I was, let's say, uh, when I was, let's say, looking for a taxi and when I found the taxi will come in about, let's say, five minutes. Let's say my appointment is in 10 minutes. My taxi comes in five minutes. So in that case, you know, uh, I change my psychology. I breathe in and out and I reset my emotion and simply I accept it simply. So, and the good thing about accepting what you experience is that the, uh, by accepting that, uh, you can start to see other things. Maybe you can have some, uh, you can find other options to do. Maybe um, you might be able to find some other taxi. Maybe you just go downstairs. If you go out from the house and taxi might there. So you just cancel the app and catch the taxi in front of you and go to the destination in earlier timing. Maybe you can do that. But by uh, waiting, by breathe in and out and by relaxing yourself, you might be able to think about the other option to deal with it. So, uh, so this is like a couple of examples of day-to-day -day life uh, experience. But uh, because of this experience, I can also practice um, the patience and also deal with the formal in the trading day-to-day. Coming back to the original topic, how to deal with formal is actually, uh, it's difficult if you, unless you practice in a day-to-day -day life, is my opinion. So, uh, in case you miss something, like whether it's a train, you, if you miss train, or if, if you miss the bus, if you miss taxi, if you miss some opportunity, um, just, I recommend you to breathe in and out and relax yourself and um, just keep distance in between yourself and the event psychologically. Um, I hope that makes sense, uh, what I say, because uh, if you're attached emotionally so much to the thing, the event, then uh, you are there, you are actually there emotionally and spiritually you are there and uh, you might get a frustration. But uh, if you keep distance in between, then um, that's actually the way you can deal with the formal. Um, so, and also, like originally said, uh, the market is just moving by itself. So, even if you tell the market to stop, it just keep going. Even if you tell the market to move, it won't move, right? So, um, it's basically um, the idea that the uh, in case you miss the chance, then think, you know, let's say tomorrow or next week, we might have some chance. So it's okay. Because it's not the end of the trading world. The market's moving every day with or without you. It's moving every day. 
So uh, even if you miss today, you can capture always next one. Uh, and also as I talk, I also think about one more uh, uh, cause of why FOMO is there. Is because you rush to make profits maybe. If you rush to make profits, then uh, because of this motivation, um, you want to make profits possibly all the opportunities, maybe possibly every day, every week, if you want to make profits, then also that creates FOMO. Um, so, yeah, this is, I think, uh, a bit kind of difficult to say myself still. I'm kind of difficult to put this into words. But uh, if I just express, try to express, uh, so that would be um, if you if you try not to win, then you can win trace. And if you try to win, then you cannot win. I think that's also true. Like uh, whenever I was when I was trying to be profitable, uh, I wasn't success. But after I sit back and relax and uh, keep distance in between myself and chart, and after I uh, I lost my greediness and also I lo lose my I lost my mindset to be profitable, then uh, I started to win trades. So I think uh, I think uh, most likely. You want to trade because you want to change your financial situation. You want to help your family or friends. You want to help yourself for living. And most likely that's why you are here to learn how to trade. Otherwise, you won't, right? Unless you love looking the charts, uh, I think that will be the case. So, um, and because of this, because you want to make profits, because you're eager to make profits, FOMO is there, always. So, try not to make profits. Try not to look for profits every day. Um, simply, you know, see charts. And whenever you see the opportunity, just take it. If you don't, then just leave. And come back a couple hours later, come back tomorrow. And you just keep doing it. Because after all, that's the only thing you can do. And then a the profit will be brought to you automatically. Is uh, my my state of mind right now. And but this one, I think uh, it's kind of still difficult to put this into word. So I have, I think I need more time to uh, digest myself and how to put this in a, like a logic sentence. But uh, this is also my fail. You have four more because you want to make profits. Because you want to make profits to change your financial situation, and that's why you have FOMO. That's also true. But the one thing is, uh, um, the emotion, no matter how motivated you are, no matter how, how to say, how confident you are, no matter how big your willpower is, um, you may lose, and that's trading. Unlike other sports, unlike other studies, uh, in getting high scores, trading is different. And you have to also know that. So it's okay to have high motivation to learn something and high motivation to practice and high motivation to experience more. But um, uh, motivation is not really directed, connected to the profit. Or uh, if you have less motivation, then uh, you might win more psychologically because you can create that distance in between yourself and the charts psychologically. So uh, yeah, that's how I feel about the FOMO. And I think I will talk about this topic more and more in the future videos or lives. But uh, because recently I got these questions on the emails or comments and that's why I decided to talk about this topic. But uh, yeah, just feel free to comment on the below description if you have any comments or questions or uh, you can share all your own situations about the formal or any inner psychologies and uh, that will be very interesting. I will read these, read these comments 
and uh, make also comments too. So uh, yeah, and I guess uh, yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I will see you tomorrow at the live stream. And uh, until then, please stay healthy and stay gold. Thanks so much, and happy Friday, and happy weekend ahead. Thanks so much. Bye for now. Mata ne.